All right, we're back with problem number 10 from your Algebra Chapter 5 self-test where we are asked uh, to find a probability that says that the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment reported that for the years 2001 to 2005, 1,563 bats were examined for rabies. So they caught 1,563 bats. Of all of those bats that they found, 221 of them actually had rabies. So out of the 1,563 bats that were found, 221 of them had rabies. And we want to use this information, this information right here that has just been provided, to estimate the probability that if you see a bat in Colorado, that it has rabies. So this is a relative frequency. This is based on information that we have. So now we say, if we go to Colorado and we see a bat, what are the chances that it has rabies based on the information that we have, which is this information that was collected by the Department of Public Health and Environment? Well, what's the percentage of the bats that we have found or that were found that actually had rabies? That would be 221 out of 1,563. 221 out of 1,563 bats actually had rabies. This is the information we have. That's all the information we have. We have no other information. The percent of these bats, the 1,563, is when we do that division. 221 divided by 1,563 is 0.141. That's a decimal. If we change that to a percent, multiply by 100, we get 14.1%. So this means that 14.1% of the bats that were found and studied actually had rabies. That's the only information we have. So what this means is that if we randomly see a bat in Colorado, our best, again, estimate, our best estimate of the chances that it has rabies is 14.1% and we're using that or finding that based on the information that we have gathered, the relative frequency. There is no other information for us to use about what the probability of bats having rabies are. This is the only information that we have. So there's a 14.1% chance that a bat you find in Colorado actually has rabies.